this is the beginnings of an anemometer. Basically, a digital wind vane that's powered by this analog circuit. Um, so, back on my previous video of the AS5600, which is down there in this little block of wood, you see the magnet that is just laying above it. I think there's a millimeter or not even of uh, air gap between the two. For a ball bearing, um, I use this fidget spinner, which has the ball bearing in there. And I took a piece of PVC pipe, and a screw that fits the ball bearing. And it's, I actually just anchored this uh, magnet to it, just with magnetic power, no glue. And to demonstrate the uh, voltages, I used my uh, interface for my analog joystick, which is in a previous video also, and I just used the x-axis one, just one of these, just to demonstrate the analog uh, translation of the rotation, which is based on the Hall effect. And you see this is hooked up to a multimeter to read the, the voltage that comes out of it. The way this is wired is basically um, VCC is to 5 volts. Um, I have a green wire is the ground. Uh, yellow wire is the analog signal output. And the um, uh, PGO or GPO pin, as it is on this particular breakout board, is attached to VCC. And so, um, as the magnet rotates around, uh, it should give a voltage. So you could see the, and for the wind vane part, I just made, made a makeshift thing out of um, a coat hanger that you get from the dry cleaners. And I put a light piece of wood here that I had laying around. Um, and so you could see as it rotates, you get a change in voltage. And the corresponding change in the analog um, meter, which is in dot mode from the joystick uh, project. And as this rotates, you could see the corresponding voltage as the voltage goes up, because this is basically um, a potentiometer. Now, the way I have this interfaced with the joystick is that it allows for less travel uh, because the joystick can't, can only travel in so much direction, half the direction, to get the full span of the 8-bit signal that comes out. Um, and so this, the way that's, that it's calibrated, is that this does not allow um, a full 360-degree travel on that, but... You could see it on the multimeter when it gets to more than 90 degrees or more than 180 degrees. You could see the rise in the voltmeter and it's already at the highest level on the analog uh, interface there behind it. And that's about 2.5 volts. Once you get beyond it, it just stays high, but the voltage actually rises as you can see here, as you go up, 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 up and uh, it goes to a 360 degree point, and then it just resets to zero as it goes beyond that. And as you just rotate it around freely, works pretty well. So my intention for this is to create another interface for this particular device using the same basic plan, the LM324s, but I think I'm going to make it uh, eight op amps, so four total chips. Um, I'm sorry, 16 op amps, so four total chips, um, so I can have a resolution of 16 bits, which I can place around in a circle. Um, to determine the wind direction as the wind blows this, um, which I intend to use um, in a boating application. 
to determine wind for docking, sailing, etc. Um, so stay tuned. Next video should have the complete circuit. Um, and once again, this is the AS5600. Um, and there's the magnet right at that point underneath in the middle, which lays right over the center of the AS5600 chip. seen that well here but there it is a little shiny a little shiny circle in the middle anyway i hope you guys like this um if you have any questions about the design of the circuitry please let me know in the comments um thank you thanks for watching